I want to cover a story that the mainstream media isn't covering, and the few sources that do cover are leaving out massive important details. Before I get to it, I just want to say some of the language in this video won't be appropriate for young ears, so uh, put your headphones on for this one. Alright, so Moses Jacob Lopez is a man from Portland, Oregon, who has been trying to become a woman since 2019. But even before that, back in 2015, when the whole transgender fad was less popular and certainly less socially acceptable, he wrote on social media that, and I quote, At times I wish I was a woman rather than a feminine gay man just so I could deck a basic bitch in the face. So annoying. Unquote. So, I figure most people who watch this show aren't that familiar with the term basic bitch, but according to Urban Dictionary, that's an overly generic or basic female that follows the majority of trends relevant to her peer group during a specific era, without injecting any originality into her existence. So, in other words, this guy fantasized about pretending to be a woman so that he could assault women that he didn't like. And then, he went all in. In 2019, he began, as the modern world calls it, transitioning. Um, and what's interesting is that the Oregon State Board of Nursing that he worked for, you know, he, he was actually a nursing assistant, well, their records show that from 2019 to 2021, he engaged in what they call abusive and threatening ways towards co-workers. So, they actually suspended him in 2021, but pretty much at exactly the time when he started transitioning was the time at which he suddenly became abusive towards his co-workers, thus sort of fulfilling his fantasy of pretending to be a woman so he could get away with more, right? So they suspended him in 2021. Now, early in April 2023, in the current time, he's alleged to have threatened somebody with a weapon. Now, he was charged for doing so, with two felony counts of unlawful use of a weapon and two counts of me menacing in Coos County, Oregon. He was released without bail. Then he missed his court hearing on April 3rd. A warrant was issued for his arrest, but just three days later he would go on to murder a cab driver by stabbing him in the neck. The onboard camera inside the cab recorded the attack. And there wasn't a a fight that happened beforehand. I mean, not that it would justify... Okay, you know, you get it. But in fact, a representative from the cab company who watched the video said, and I quote, There was no conversation, no altercation, nothing. End quote. See, the cab driver who had been working for them for years had never had a single com com complaint. He was... He was fine, he was good at his job, he was polite, and he put up with a lot. And yet in this case, this guy, this trans individual, leaned forward and stabbed him in the throat without cause. Now, almost none of the news sources that have covered this story have mentioned that he was trans. And maybe you're saying, well, does it matter? Well, yes, actually, it does. It matters because we're told that trans people never commit acts of violence. We're told that, and we're told that, in fact, trans people are safe enough that they can be in bathrooms with your kids regardless of their genitalia. Right? We're told that trans people are exceptionally safe despite the fact that they clearly have a sex-based delusional condition. And, again, he, had, he dressed up so that he could get away with more. Because, presumably, he, he notices that in our modern society, we still have one where women can get away with more, especially like in the legal system and that sort of thing. It's some of the, um, I guess, leftover attributes of a more chivalrous age. But it's true, women do get less sentences than men for the same crimes. But what you see here is sort of like a, a combination of different leftist values. After all, he was released without bail after he threatened somebody with a weapon you know, committed multiple, accused of multiple th felonies, and they put him back out on the street, and and here we are with this trans individual being, in many ways, tolerated in society as he goes from one abusive act to another, progressively getting worse, all under the guise of, oh, I'm going to pretend to be a woman. And 
when it comes to these acts by trans people, that they're rarely covered appropriately. I mean, if you just look at the recent shooting of the Christian school by the trans shooter, the, the major media outlets went out of their way to try to minimize the fact that that person was trans. And to say that it, it obviously in no way was related to the incident. Well, they won't show us the manifesto. So I certainly couldn't make that statement with confidence, but the media did repeatedly because this is their sort of victim group that is becoming not really a victim group but an oppressive group that are responsible for quite a few acts of violence and murder but aren't being covered by the media because they're being protected and now of course we get to see what prison this man gets sent to and this is Horrigan so I wouldn't be surprised if it was a female prison you know where he can go and beat up women, which was one of his fantasies way back in 2015 before he started on all of this. I mean, this is, this is sort of like the, the results of a variety of different leftist policies all come together as one. And yeah, the media doesn't want to cover it, but we absolutely ought to. And it's, it's necessary that we have some people speaking the truth in these cases in order to well, shed light and be corrective to the narrative that they're trying to spin, right? If the news media was functioning as news, the fact that this individual was trans would be part of the story, and yet it's left out because the news media is not functioning as news, but are rather giving narratives rather than the actual story. If you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also share it with your friends. I've got links in the description down below that can help you to support me in different ways. Thank you.